we'll guide you through how to fix your PS5 HDMI port not working. And in this guide, we're going to avoid opening up the PS5 and things like that and go for more easy steps, which you can try to fix the problem. If you find this useful, please consider subscribing and liking the video and let's get into this. Firstly, make sure your PS5 is shut down and powered off. You don't want it to be in rest mode, so make sure it's completely turned off. To do that, if your PS5 is currently on, all you need to do is hold the power button and it initially beeps, then keep holding it to hear a second beep and then it will shut down. Once you've done that, we then want to go and spin the PS5 round just like this. Go to the back of your PS5 and what you want to do is go and unplug the HDMI and power and anything else you've got plugged in as well. And after you've unplugged them, what you want to do is just let it sit. And while we wait just for sort of 10, 15 seconds for it to completely power down, what I recommend doing is just switching the HDMI round. So go and put the end which is currently plugged into your TV into your PS5 and plug the end which is currently plugged into your PS5 into your TV into a different HDMI port. While everything is unplugged, make sure there's no debris or dust or other particles in your PS5 HDMI port as well, because sometimes they can get in there. So make sure there's nothing in there which could be messing with the connection and do the same on your TV as well. Plug everything back in and then try turning on your PS5. And remember, if you change the HDMI port which your PS5 is plugged into on your PS5, you also need to change the source as well. Otherwise you'll be getting a black screen. And I've now selected the HDMI 2 and it should shortly go and appear just like that. So go and see if that fixes your problem. If it still doesn't, then what we want to do is go and enter safe mode on our PS5. So I'll show you how to do that now. What we need to do is make sure your PS5 is shut down. So hold on the power button like this. Once again, until you hear that second beep and it's completely shut down and powered off, just like it should have been at the start of the video. Uh, wait for the lights to stop flashing. After your PS5 is turned off, then let's go and put it into safe mode. So what you need to do is hold the power button and you keep holding it until you hear the second beep. And that tells you that it's going into safe mode. So keep holding it and just like that, you'll hear that second beep and it's now starting safe mode. So if you then go and see this screen here, which says connect the controller using the USB cable, go and connect it. So plug one end into your PS5, just the charging cable and the other end into your controller and then you press the PlayStation button. But if you're seeing this screen, so if you just make sure you've tried the different sources on your TV, if you're seeing this screen, this means your HDMI port is working um, and there's just a resolution problem. So what you want to do is go down to change video output, make sure you use the, the D-pad to move and then um, X, which is this one here, so change video output. Then you can click on change resolution and what you want to do is try changing resolutions. So click OK here and the PS5 will restart. It will just take a moment. And what we can do is sometimes with the resolutions, if they aren't matching up, then that's why you're just seeing a black screen and the HDMI port isn't working. So what we can do is try changing the different resolutions to go and see if that goes and fixes the problem. Your PS5 will restart to this page here. Just hold the PlayStation button. And then what you can do is select the different video resolutions here. So you could try doing automatic. And if you still end up with a black screen when your PS5 starts, then turn it off, put it into safe mode again, come back to resolution and try 720p and repeat this for the others to find the one which works. So yeah, you'll need to put your, your PS5 in the safe mode a few times if it isn't working and hopefully you'll find the one which works. And what you can also do is if I just select automatic here, your PS5 will restart. Hopefully you find a resolution which works for you. If you've tried all the video outputs and it still isn't working, then come back to your safe mode. And what you could try doing is clearing the cache. So click here and then you can try clearing the software cache. Click there and it will clear everything and it, as it may be like a, a bug with the system with getting no output because evidently your HDMI port is working because you can get to safe mode. So it shows that it is a problem with the PS5 system. Of course, if you're at the point in the video where you aren't even getting any screen, like any output from the HDMI, you can't get into safe mode, then it is a sign that there is a problem with your HDMI port on your console and it may need to go and be repaired. But hopefully you've managed to go and fix it with this video. If you have, please leave a like.